Good day, and welcome to another episode of the Sean Farrell Podcast. I am Sean Farrell. God is great all the time. All the time, God is great. Let's not waste no time. Let's get right to it. Right after I get through adjusting my hat, that is. Uh, you know, sometimes when you wear a hat, it looks crew hooked on camera. So you got to adjust it like 10 to 15 times just to make sure it looks straight on camera instead of looking like, like this or looking like, like this. Okay. So just got to straighten my uh, hat out. Now we can get it to it. Okay. Um, so I saw, so I saw all this. Um, so, so all this, um, okay. Yeah, here we go. So, um, one of the, um, really good accounts that I follow is, um, one of the really good accounts that I follow on X is, um, I, I follow, um, clown world. Okay. It's called clown world where they basically clown the left in the, um, political sphere and they clown um um dumb stuff in um America okay so um um they had a post that said um they had a post that said um hundreds of students are refusing to go inside Madison High School because of the new ban on um, cell phones. Okay. And they walked out, um, and they walked out in protest of, um, not being able to have set health phones. Okay. Which brings me to this point that I want to make about bullying. Okay. So, um, bullying was bad back in my days in grade school, okay? And um, you have cell phones back in the day, but you didn't have the big bulky cell phones. I mean, you didn't have the bulky, you didn't have the lightweight camera phones that we have today. You still had the big bulky brick size cell phones. Um, then um, of course, technology evolves, okay? And so by the time um, I graduated high school, um, social media was just beginning to be born, okay? Social media was born. And um, I graduated high school in 2004. And that's when um, MySpace first came to a lot of people's attention, okay? And so social media was born shortly after I graduated high school, okay? And um, bullying was prevalent. It was bad. Um, I can remember getting clowned because um, I once came to school with a high top of fate, which was a uh, no-no. Um, I got clowned because I had no teeth in the front. Um, believe it or not. No need to revisit is it that? But um I heard it all throughout um seventh grade from seventh grade to on up to graduation. I heard it all. And um it was bad, it made me better. Um but um at least there wasn't no camera phones around back then because um, it would have been unbearably worse if social media existed um, back in my grade school days. Okay. Now, um, technology has e evolved.
I can remember watching this um one video on anti bullying. Okay. Um. I re I remember watching the video on anti bullying where this guy took a photo of this girl in class of this girl in class and he used it as a meme and he used that photo as a meme um and she became the laughing stock of the entire school okay she became the laughing stock of the entire school okay um And so later on in the video, um, the guys who were the bully to her, they got confronted about it. They said, were you the ones who took for photos of this girl? And they started laughing about it like, uh, yeah, what's well, the big deal? And then the girl was like, uh, you made her cry in biology class. Okay. And so, um, and so, um, they did in care one IO Ota to say hey, the least. Okay. Now, eventually, one of the bullies who was being a bully to her, um, eventually stepped up and, um, eventually stepped up. And showed her um, compassion, showed her some kindness, um, and then um, those tears turned into, um, you know, smiles because one of the bullies who was bullying her actually had a change of heart, and the reason why he had a change of heart was because his sister was getting bullied. Okay, he learned his sister was getting bullied. And his sister nearly ended his life by suit who ended her life by suicide because he came home one day and she had jumped into the lake attempting to end her life, but she didn't. And so, um, that's the big, so that change of heart came from knowing that his sister was getting bullied. And then it made him realize that what he's doing to this girl is wrong. Okay. So, so yeah. Um, and so I saw another one. Um, so I saw another anti-bullying video. Anti-bullying slash anti-suicide video. Um, and, um, the video started off and um, there was this girl who was talking to this guy and there were three friends standing around and they noticed that. And so one of uh, the uh, three girls went like, is that fat pig slut talking to your bo boyfriend? And they went like, no way. And so. They made this girl's life a living hell. Okay. They made this girl's life a living hell through social media on their phones. Okay. And once again, she was the laughing stock of the host. And once again, as in the previous anti bullying video that I watched, this girl was the laughing stock of the whole school. Okay. And um, they were just on her mercifully. Okay. They were just on her mercifully. Okay. She's a laughing stock of the whole school. She's getting made fun of 24 set heaven. Okay. And the three friends were like, we can keep this. We can literally keep this up all year. Okay. We can literally keep this up all year. Hmm. Well, at the end of the video, class was about to start one day, okay? Class was about to start, and everybody was coming in, getting settled in their seats. 
and the three fans came, and uh and the three friends came in um and they um and they and they had started a website called haters of such and such dot com okay they actually started a website called it called haters of such and such dot com okay so then the principal came on the intercom with an announcement I regret had to who who informed you such as such, the family of this person has informed me that X has committed to has ended their life by suicide. We would like to take a moment of silence to remember this person. We will meet yes, sir. And then the three friends faces just dropped like what have I done? What have I done? Their their faces dropped and their hearts sink. Okay, but it was way too late by then. It was way too late to feel bad. Okay, so after the moment of silence, um, the uh, principal said, um, we are also fully cooperating and investigating to see who did hit this. Well, seconds later, um. Somebody walked in and um, a law enforcement agent walked in and said, um, and the law enforcement agent walked in and said, ladies, come with us right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then um, all the students who were laughing at, um, laughing at, at her. Um, they just had the most sick look on their faces. Like, I feel bad. I, I, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. They had the most sick look on their face. Like, so I say all that to say, this is why I support, um, the Madison High High School banning phones in their uh, school, cause that sends bullying into overdrive. Okay, cause not only do you have to deal with school bullying, but you have to deal with online bull bullying as well. You hear it on X, you hear it on Instagram, you hear it on Fa Facebook, you hear it on TikTok. Okay. So this is why I um, like um, Madison High School banning phones, okay? This is why I support, support that. Um, I obviously support it for other reasons too, but yeah. Um, yeah. I support Madison High School banning phones in that adult school. Um, Just makes bullying that much more worse and just sends it into complete overdrive. Okay. And um when you have to hear it 24-7, all day long, in school, out of school, online, that can drive someone to end their life by su suicide. Okay. So Let's stop bullying each other, y'all, in school or online. Let's stop bullying each other. Be a, be a buddy, not a bully. All right, that's it. And that's all for the Sean Farrell podcast. I'm out of here. God bless you all. See y'all on the next one. Peace.